Today, you can join a special celebration of the legendary Spruce, Gro Spruce Goose airplane. Yeah, the plane flew for the first and only time on this date 75 years ago. We're on the go with Joe, who's live to tell us about today's special anniversary event in McMinnville. This is pretty cool that it's here in Oregon, Joe. It, it sure is, Shawna. Yeah, it is a piece of aviation history, a massive piece of aviation, aviation history. And I say massive quite literally, uh, Tyson Weiner, CEO of Evergreen Aviation Space Museum, because at the time, this was the largest plane ever built. It's got a 320-foot wingspan, which you, when this was brought here, I mean, this building was basically built around this Bruce Goose. It's so massive. It was. It's quite significant. And to put it in perspective, the wingspan from tip to tip is larger than a football it's, field. It's incredible. And the reason it got named, nicknamed the Spruce Goose was because it was a supposed to be a troop transport plane for World War II. It actually never saw action, of course. But there was actually wood used in the construction, which, of course, is, was rare then. It's still rare now. Rare now and perhaps not the uh, uh, material of choice at the time. But right. due to the war effort, yeah. uh, metals were in serious high demand. So if you look at Howard Hughes's innovative uh, tendencies, uh, he figured out a way to leverage Duramold uh, as the means to leverage the construction of what became uh, a real important mechanical engineering feat. And you can see this is the kind of wood, obviously, that was used in this. But as uh, Tyson was mentioning, there was a process that it basically sealed it all together and made it, a, I guess, an operational that's flying, right. It was, and that was the idea, a flying boat was what it, they called it, right? Th that's true, that's true. And uh, Hugh, the Hughes Flying Boat is the formal name of it. The Spruce Goose just became a bit of a nickname later on. He did uh, not like that he name. He did not like that he name. Liked it to, he wanted to be called the Hercules. That's the right. The media called it the Spruce Goose, and you can't fight City Hall. The media <laughs> won. What can I tell you? So today there is going to be a, a big celebration, and it's going to take place at basically the exact time when this took flight. Uh, 75 years ago, right? That's correct, yeah. So Howard Hughes, when he did his water taxi on November 2nd, 1947, actually got the Hughes flying boat airborne uh, between the time of 1.30 p.m. and 2 p.m. And so that's the time that we've selected to honor his efforts with a ceremony here at the museum. So we encourage everybody that can make it to make it with half price admission, uh, lots of fun surprises in for the day, and it's gonna be a really good time. Uh, in addition, I should mention, so it's the 75th anniversary of the flight. It's also the 30th anniversary of another logistical miracle, really, when they transported this. So you guys may know, the Spruce Goose was in Southern California. They brought it up to Willamette River and eventually to Little McMinnville, Washington, uh, where it's now been here for 30 years today. So really incredible. We'll join the celebration again right here, half price today at the Evergreen Aviation Space Museum. And Tyson, I think it's time to head inside. Absolutely. Because, shall we? Happy right. to. That's going to come up a little bit later in the show, guys. We're, guys, we're going to take you inside this Bruce Goose. Let's send it back to you in the studio. Pretty neat.